Um, it's, it's difficult to select from this book because it's two long narratives, Orpheus, Orpheus in the present moment, kind of in the, a reincarnation of Orpheus in the present moment, and Orpheus, the classical Orpheus, reborn or remade after the, the Maenads have torn him limb from limb. And out of mercy or from motives we can't understand, they put him back together again. So the first, I'll just read two short extracts. One is the concluding um, section. Um, they're all short verses, but there's, what is it, 33 of them in this. It's just the concluding section of the contemporary Orpheus. Who's, yeah, he's been on the road like Bob Dylan, but possibly not as famous. But he's yeah, a journeyman musician. He's done his best. The long decades passed. I did my work. I did what good I could all over the turning world. I learned, of course you can go home again. Found that time passed and sieved will yield gold if you're patient. Friends of my youth have not forgot me. My city is mine still, though I can't live there. I hear on the wind that she made it through is out there in the world. I'm thankful to her. What was for me always found me in the end. The fates put a good companion in my way. We have a daughter with steady eyes who sang at her mother's breast. I work the old trade as many have before. I play the cards I'm dealt. I hope to die old, grateful, doing my best. And one more. Um, this, this reborn Orpheus understands that it was the height of arrogance to go back down after Eurydice when she went into the underworld. It's, it's very interesting the way the the, um, the palimpsest of a myth, or even, if you like, the, the architecture of a myth, stays constant all down through the decades, through the centuries, through the eons. Um, and yet we can read it from a different perspective uh, in accordance with what we understand in the, in the, in the living historical moment. And it suddenly dawned on me, and it never dawned on Orpheus, unfortunately, that he should have left Eurydice alone. If she wanted to go down into the dark to make her soul, that was her own business. And it wasn't his failure. You know, it's just a different way of looking at them. It wasn't his failure when he turned back and looked and therefore, therefore um, condemned her to stay in the underworld. She'd stopped for her own good reasons. She didn't want to go back up. She wanted to stay there for her own good reasons. So it's, it's curious the way the, the, I suppose you could say one way of saying it is myths are stories that can be constantly reimagined and still hold firm. Anyway, in this, this, in this long sequence, he's, um, he's beginning, Orpheus is beginning to grow up a bit. He's beginning to understand himself differently. Back in the long before, I was enchanter and arrogant with the gift. I could make stones move. Men made me famous for it with their talk, muttered sorcerer as I passed, silently crowding to my heels, and I confess I liked it. The awe they felt, a kind of sustaining echo to my own, cold air to anneal the blade of thought. Now I am found enchanted. The song sings me and gives me pause. The God intends this. Such has been made known. Reborn in silence, I have recanted belief in my power, surrendered my one art to itself. By sea, by cliff, by woods I walk, tending the busy music of what happens, entranced with my part.